Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to share with you how to make a super easy and delicious morisqueta. So in case you guys don't know how to make this recipe, just stay tuned and I'll show you how. We're going to begin by making our salsa. So we're just going to begin by roasting four Roma tomatoes, one tomatillo, and chile serrano. Depending on how spicy you want your salsa, then it depends on how many chile serranos you're going to use. I'm going to be adding about five of them. So just allow them to roast. Okay, so once the chiles and tomatoes are fully roasted, we're going to transfer them to our blender cup. So now we're going to roast a piece of onion and two garlic cloves. Along with three guajillos or chile pollita. And the guajillos, we're just going to give them a couple seconds on each side. You don't want to burn them because otherwise that's going to make your sauce bitter. And do the same with chile de árbol. I'm using five. Now my sauce is going to be a little spicy. If you don't want your sauce to be spicy, don't, don't use the chile árbol. And they toast pretty quickly, as you can see, they're going to change color. Get, in, get them out. Okay. Now I just wait for the onion and garlic cloves. Okay, so once it's all done, now we can get ready to blend. To a blender cup, we're also going to add half a teaspoon of oregano. And we're going to blend with one cup of water. Okay, so blend. Okay, so once that's done, now we can get ready to put it together with our meat. For my meat, I'm going to be using four pounds of pork ribs. Of course, if you don't want to use pork, you can always use queso cotija or um, beef. So we're just going to throw it in into our pot. To my meat, I'm going to be adding half a teaspoon of cumin, half a teaspoon of thyme, salt and black pepper. We're also going to be adding a piece of onion, three garlic cloves, and I just mashed them, and three bay leaves. And we're just going to cover them with water. I'm just going to allow them to come to a boil. Once it comes to a boil, we're going to cover it and allow it to cook between 30 to 45 minutes or until the water evaporates on medium heat. All right guys, so after 41 minutes, I'm going to remove the lid. As you can see, most of the water has evaporated. We're just going to move it around. And I'm going to give it a couple more minutes just to make sure that everything evaporates completely. Okay, so after 10 minutes, our meat should be nice and golden. So now we're going to add our sauce. We're going to add a little bit of water to a blender cup, just so like that we can get all of the sauce, mix it. And at this point, we're going to taste our sauce for salt, adjust it if needed. Now reduce the heat to the lowest setting and allow it to simmer for 20 minutes. Okay guys, so to make our rice, we're going to grab our pan, set it on medium heat. We're going to be adding three cups of water. along with two tablespoons of butter. A small piece of onion and one smashed garlic clove. I'm going to be using one teaspoon of garlic salt and now we're just going to bring it to a boil. Okay, once the water comes to a boil, we're going to be adding two cups of rinsed white rice or jasmine. Now we're just going to mix it and allow it to simmer. Okay, so once it begins to simmer, we're going to lower down the heat to the lowest setting, cover it and allow it to cook for 15 minutes. All right guys, so after 15 minutes, our rice is done. So now we're going to turn it off and allow it to sit for 10 minutes. And at this point, our meat is also done. Okay, so just check it, the meat should be nice and tender. 
and it is done let me tell you that smells delicious and that salsa mm, so good okay so after 10 minutes we can get ready to fluff our rice just look at that and once we have it ready now we can get ready to serve Alrighty, guys and now for the fun part serving so we're going to begin by grabbing our white rice And you can serve this in a bowl, so like that, you can grab a good amount of juice. Going to grab our pinto beans. And you grab as much as you want. And to top it with our delicious meat. Make sure you grab some of the sauce. Now we can top it. Okay, I'm just going to top it with some crema mexicana. Some queso cotija. And some chopped cilantro. And green onion. And I'm just going to be serving it with some tacos de papa. And just like that, now we can get ready to enjoy our delicious morisqueta. Alrighty guys, and now for the best part, the taste test. Now let me tell you guys, at first I wanna give a big shout out to my sister-in-law and to her mom for sharing her delicious recipe with me and with you guys. Um, I am not from Michoacan, but I embrace all of the food, you know, all of our delicious Mexican food from every region. So I hope you guys give this recipe a try. It's seriously super delicious, so flavorful, and everyone enjoys it. And very simple, you know, but the beans you know it's an extra touch along with the tacos de papa and of course you can just enjoy it with a tortilla or just like that by itself the meat so flavorful so tender and like i said the best part is that if you don't like pork you can always substitute it for beef or even um uh, queso cotija but i am so ready so cheers and enjoy mm. Mm. so good so flavorful it's a perfect combination the sauce using the chilies that i use it's a little spicy mm. it's about i would say like a six out of ten but it's so good and of course you can always adjust it by adding more chiles if you want it more spicy or less chiles if you don't want it to be that spicy it's so good Alrighty, guys and there you have it huh Mika? super easy and delicious morisqueta i hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and if you did please don't forget to give me a big thumbs up share with your friends and family and if you record this recipe please don't forget to tag me in any of my social medias and if you're new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button and so you guys keep part of our family. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys on my next video. Bye.